Hi guys, happy Saturday. Today is Saturday, October 30th, day before Halloween. Um, I am starting my day. I started my day early. I started my day about 5.30. I got up, did my Bible study. Um, then I did a little work on one of my online jobs. And then I trim and film um, one of the patterns for my November sewing plans. So I trim one of the color block patterns, but I realized I cannot find any black ponty knit in my stash. And I also think that I'm going to go with a darker blue for one of them. So I'm going to, <clears throat> I'm headed out now. I'm going to find fabrics and I am meeting a friend for lunch at 12.30. So I'm going out kinda early so I can hit Fine Fabrics first before I meet her because I don't wanna go to Fine Fabrics after I meet her. Um, it'll probably be packed still at 10.30 when I get there, but um, it'll be even worse probably <laughs> after we have lunch. So I wanna go ahead and stop there, um, get the fabric that I'm looking for. I'm going for two pieces of fabric. <laughs> we'll see how that works out. All right, and I'll take you guys along with me once I get to Fine Fabrics. Yeah, I think it's packed in here already. Sorry, my shoes are squeaking. need to find the remnants because I am hoping what I can find I can find them in the remnant section that way I don't have to go on the aisles but we'll see So I did not find what I was looking for on the remnant aisle. So I got to go down this ponty aisle and find what I'm looking for. Hopefully I can find it because my lunch has been pushed up 30 minutes. So we're back. I don't know which one. It went from 1230 to 12. So whatever that means. Um, up or back. <laughs> so... I'm going to find, I'm looking for a blue, and I think this blue will do, and I need some black. All right. All right. Can't carry the fabric and talk to y'all at the same time, so I'll get back here in a second. I also need to make a quick run down a couple of aisles to look for the money fabric 
because I said I would look and see if they had some the next time I came in here. Um, ooh, I keep getting distracted. I need to not get distracted. Y'all know I said I was coming in here for two things and I got five things. Three of them are remnants though, so I feel a little better about it. Um, all right, so this is one aisle. I need to find the other aisle that has the fabric, like the money fabric on it. Yeah, sequin. Pretty. It's nice pajama fabric prints. Uh, let's see. This store is massive, guys. You know, funny, I've been coming here for years. I've been to the upholstery section back here, but I've never been to this part of the store. Never in all the years that I've been here. <laughs> all right, let's see. Let's see. Money fabric. I don't think they have it anymore, but we'll see. Fabric like that kind of goes real fast because once people see it, they scoop it up. Uh, one minute. Oh, that's not mine. <laughs> hey. Hey. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't see any more of the money fabric. So yeah, I think they are out of it. Um, mommy's going to get me, y'all, because I didn't tell her I was coming here. But it was just a quick little run before I meet my friend for lunch. I just didn't want to come to find fabrics after I had lunch. Oh, I don't know what I got y'all looking at. I got some beautiful fabric in here, but I am on a mission. Even though I got more than what I said I was going to get, I'm still staying within budget. Ooh. This is pretty. It's a little thin though. Mm. 
All right, so didn't quite make it out of fine fabrics with just two things. I tried. Um, they had a couple of remnants that I liked, but I did get the two things that I went for. <laughs> so the initial reason for me going to fine fabrics is I couldn't find any black double knit in my stash or ponty knit, either one. Um, I have different types of black, just not those type of blacks <laughs> in my stash. So I went to Fine Fabrics to get two yards of black so I can finish cutting out. Where's my pattern? Um, so I can finish cutting this out, this McCall's pattern. This is McCall's 8244. Um, and I'm making it in, um, this is gonna be red. This is going to be white and this is going to be black. Um, and I didn't have the black that I needed. So I made plans to go to find fabrics. Also, when I was cutting out the white part with the pattern pieces, you only need to cut one of your different colors. And for the white part, I cut two. So um, I said, I'm not going to waste my fabric. I am just going to make another shirt. <laughs> so my other shirt is going to be white, light blue, this light blue here, and then a, the darker blue. And um, I'll show you guys that in a second. So I don't want to waste fabric I had cut because I cut two pieces instead of one. Um, so I was like, you know what? Let me just um, <laughs> get some blue fabric as well because I was going to use dark blue for that other McCall's pattern I'm making. Um, I don't have it handy right now that has the color blocking in the center i was going to do a dark blue for that but i ended up just cutting white for it um so it'll have white in the middle <laughs> so it'll be this one and white and i'll show you the pattern in a second um some of my fabric just fell out of the bag onto the floor so i gotta get that and show you guys and I'm going to do a quick fabric haul. Oh. So this one is the pattern that I was going to put the darker blue in the center. This McCall's 8249. I was going to put a darker blue in the center with this lighter blue, but I just cut out white since I had white already out on the table. And I wasn't real sure last night if I was going to find fabrics, but when I couldn't find any black that I needed in my stash, I knew for sure I was going to find fabrics, but I had already cut out the white. So this will be blue and that part will be white. And I'm gonna use the darker blue for this one. So the second version that I make, I'm gonna have white on this side. I don't like a lot of white, so that's why I chose the smallest side for white. So that's going to be white. This is going to be light blue, and that's going to be dark blue. All right. So really quick fabric haul. This is the blue that I got from Fine Fabrics that I'm going to use for the second version of that McCall's top. All right. And this is the black that I'm going to use for the um, red, white, and black one. So I just grabbed some black. Um, this isn't as thick as the Ponty Knit that I use, um, but my white and red are also this texture. So I want to make sure I had the same texture throughout the um, top. So this was on the Ponty Knit aisle. But it feels more like a double knit to me than it more so than Ponty. All right. Um, on to the remnants. This is a brown. I love this color brown. This was one yard and it was $2.99. And at first I was just grabbing it because I like the fabric. <laughs> um, this is a Ponty knit. Um, but then I thought about my mom got some fabric from Joann's and 
she didn't have enough to make her sleeves and the one of the colors in it, in, it, in it is brown so she can probably use this it's a yard she should be able to get some sleeves out of this um so this will go in her pile all right provided we can't find the joanne's fabric online um all right also got this remnant this is a pink and it is I get that glare off it was it is two and a half yards and it's 5.99 this is a jersey knit so this is um a good amount of fabric so i should be able to get something really nice out of this uh and i found this um the light oh i think this is a white uh it's either a white or a cream i can't tell <laughs> i feel like I feel like it's more cream than it is white, but I honestly can't tell. I need to get, yeah, I, I can't tell whether it's cream or white. I just know that it was a ponty knit. It is a yard and a fourth and it was $3.99. So I grabbed it. <laughs> right. So that is all the fabric that I got from my trip to find fabrics. And then I went to Joann's because Joann's had um, McCall's, Butterick, and Vogue on sale. I went Friday to um, just to see what they had, see if McCall's had any new patterns out. They did not. So as I was walking around Joann's, I found this fabric. Um, someone on Instagram was talking about this fabric. Um, I think her name is Jessica. Um, but I think her handle is... Um, the fat fashionista therapy <laughs> i'm getting it all wrong i will put it in the um description box below but she's she um loves to sew she's also a therapist um but her and i know her real name is jessica um she posted i'm not sure if she posted this exact color but she had posted some similar fabric to this that she had got from joann's i think she had the white one with the white background and she had another one um, but as I was walking through Joann's, I saw this and I decided to pick it up. They only had a yard and a third of it. So it was the end of the bulk. So, of course, I got a, a deeper discount because it was already 30 percent off. So got a deeper discount on this. But I thought this is really cute. I don't typically go for um, the figurines without a face, um, you know, eyes, nose, mouth. <laughs> but I, I like this I think it's really cute um, I do prefer that you know the figures have a face on them but I think these are cute so I grabbed it and they didn't have that much left so I figured I better grab it before I didn't see it ever again um, so a quick pattern haul um, so like I said, I was looking to see if McCall's had anything new out yet. They did not. Um, so I just kind of looked through the book to see if I could find anything. Couldn't. Um, and then I went and looked at the displays to see what they had on the displays. I found this one. My mom wanted this one. $82.45 the last time that McCall's was on sale, but they didn't have any more. Um, can you see that 82.45? Um, and this one just happened to be sitting up on the counter. Somebody probably took it out of the drawer and then changed their mind. So I snatched it up because <laughs> she wanted this um, the last time McCall's was on sale. But, of course, they didn't have it. Um, so got that for her. I went back today, Saturday, to see if they had another one. But they did not because I've been going back and forth on that pattern. Um, but if they had had it today, I would have got it but they did not <laughs> this is another one that i was going back on back and forth on this is mccall's 8238 8238 <laughs> right this one right here um i think this is a really sexy dress um i love the split i love the way it's made in the top 
um, that unique detail. I, I actually really do like this pattern. I was going back and forth on it. Wasn't sure if I was going to get it because I was like, am I going to make this? But the amount of patterns I have, it don't matter whether I make it or not. Because <laughs> uh, I bought so many patterns that I haven't made that I'll probably end up giving away. Truth be told. Anyway, um, I also picked up McCall's 7511. I like it because it has the hood and I've been looking for a long cardigan type pattern that I can make something that was truly easy and straightforward that I didn't have to do a lot of thinking on that I could just kind of whip up. And this is one of their learn to sew patterns. So I decided to grab it. Um, so hopefully I'll be making this pretty soon. I love anything with a hood on it. And then I went to look for this Butterick 6858 in a different size. Um, this is the smaller size, but I need the larger size. And But they didn't have it. So a little disappointed on that. Um, but yeah. All right. So that is my really quick pattern and fabric haul. So now I can finish cutting out this pattern because I now have all the fabric I need for it. <laughs>
guys, thank you for coming along on my journey today to find fabrics. Um, looking at my fabric and pattern haul. And um, also me cutting out these patterns. So yeah, try to get everything cut out. That way I feel like a milestone has been reached. <laughs> um, I think on Thursday I trimmed the pattern. And then last night, Friday, I started to cut out the patterns with you know cut out the fabric but realized I didn't have all of the fabric that I needed so um went to find fabrics today picked up the fabric that I needed so I could finish cutting it out and hopefully sometime next week I can start to sew um more than likely I won't do a tutorial on these I know I say that all the time <laughs> uh, but more likely I can say with confidence, I'm not going to do a tutorial um, on those two McCall's color block patterns. I may do uh, Watch Me Sew. Um, not one where I'm talking and you can't see where I'm doing. You'll be able to see what I'm doing, but um, it'll be more like a Watch Me Sew type like I do with bags. Um, yeah, I think that's it for today. I think I'm going to settle in and... I got everything cut out. I think I'm going to settle in and watch some horror movies since Halloween is tomorrow, Sunday. Today is the 30th. Tomorrow's the 31st. So I think I'll buckle in and watch a couple of horror movies for Halloween. Spooky. All right. So question of the day. Let's find a question of the day. Ooh, what do you think is worth waiting for? It should be good. Um, let's see. What do you think is worth waiting for? Um, they say good things come to those who wait. So, <laughs> um, I think love. Um, you know, I hear a lot. I know a lot of people, and I talk to a lot of people, and they always say, you know, love. Love was better the second time around. Not necessarily um with the same person some people got married to someone else first and then divorced and then their second marriage was um you know they say you know was their better marriage but you know i figured that's a lot of factors that go into that you've grown you matured you know what didn't work the first time different person all that stuff i'm saying that as if i've been married i have no idea <laughs> so Anyway, but this is just from conversations they've had. But I, I feel like um, the right person is worth waiting for. Um, what else? Um, mm -hmm. this, is a, this is a thought provoking question. What do you think is worth waiting for? Hmm. You guys let me know in the comments. Um, one thing I can think of right now is um, the right person. <laughs> your quote unquote soulmate. Um, so let me know your answer in the comments below. Um, do you think love is worth waiting for? Are you already with your soulmate? Or does it have anything to do with love at all? What do you think is worth waiting for? All right. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you like this video, Click the thumbs up button. Don't forget to subscribe and also hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time I post a new video. And I'll see you in the next one.